Takamaka rum for the win. <laughs> so guys we um, arrived in Mali and uh, spent a few days here and then now we're on the way to crawl crawling crawling yes, yes. to crawling here we come yeah and then so there are a number of ways to get there you can get there by ferry which we're going to take this ferry, the, the Cat Corpus. You can get there by helicopter and then also by, by airplane as well. A short domestic flight for 20 minutes. But the ferry is going to be a 50 minute ride or so. And we are looking forward to the sea views. This is George. I rented the car from uh, George. Very great service. George, want to say a few words? Yes, of course. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Prale Island. My name is George from Pristine Cars. Whenever you're visiting my island, please just let us know. Cars are ready for you guys. All right. We are up early this morning. So it's after 8, maybe closer to 9. But we are on our way to the beach. So Marv's driving here. It's a beautiful day, so we're going to Anzalazio Beach to be specific. So it's one of the best beaches here in Pralin. Yeah. So it's gonna be a great day. Yes, yes, yes. So on this island, it's not only flat, but you have areas where there are some hills as well. Um, I guess you wouldn't call them mountains, but there are some peak points. So. Um, Lots of character on this island. So we're going up the yeah. hill. Yeah. So we're here at Ants Lazio and the beach is just what we thought. Just picture perfect. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I love it. I think it is my favorite here in Poslin for sure. Oh yeah, Emery. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a beautiful beach. I'm uh, looking forward to really, really experiencing it. It's really small do waves. You see one coming right here. Yeah, no, 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 you no, just no. do this. Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's how you get rid of the waves. <sighs> and Lazio is truly beautiful. So the sun is out right now, and the rocks—they some of them have like a pink tint to them, so they look pink. So it's just magical. Just really beautiful. Now we came early, so um, you know if you really want to come when there are less people around, maybe take some pictures before people arrive. Then it's best to come a little bit earlier to yeah. kind of get that out of the way, and then you can relax after. Yeah. So there is also another area where you can snorkel on the other side. So we'll show you that later as well. Yeah, time to arrive somewhere between eight and nine thirty. After around ten a.m., it gets um, very, very busy. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely true. So, but the rocks, they're everywhere. They're in the water, kind of emerging from the water. They're on the sides of the beach. And then you have shaded areas. So right now we're under a coconut tree. 
Um, on the other side, there's like a thick jungle. So you always have a shaded area if you like the shade. And then, you know, obviously there's this, the sun for those who love the sun and like to be in the intense heat. All right. Hans chilling under the shade. <laughs> we got our mat and I've got my Takamaka rum. Takamaka rum for the win. So here we're walking through this, um, you know, small section to go on the other side of the beach. This is the second section of the beach. So here you can snorkel. So there, there's some really pretty fish around here. So we're going to check them out. We returned to our quaint beachfront villa here in Pralin. It is right on the beach, so very nice, very spacious, lots of light, very nice terrace. Enjoyed a gorgeous sunset before our dinner at La Roche. Starting with some uh, fish curry, and then some chutney, and some boiled banana, and pumpkins and others. And then we have a salad with multiple things, um, cucumbers, uh, carrots, uh, and some fruits, and so, star fruits. Yeah, mangoes. Yeah. And then here, yeah. some onion rings and aubergine. Yes. Yeah. Everything looks so good. We're here at Valley de Mer. So we're about to walk in and take a look around. So we'll take you guys with us. Okay, so let's go check it out. So Hans, uh, Touching a uh, coco de mer. And then look at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Quite you know, to be rude, not to be rude, just look inside. This is where actually where the embryo cord come from uh, from out when it's reproducing. Okay, but when it's uh, just fallen up, fallen down, it's heavy. You know, now it's really empty because yeah. it's been used as a top model to for the people to see because of the symmetric, you know. She's the top photos of everything. So, coco de mer, right? A female. Yeah, female. So big it is. It is a uh, good size. This is a female. Yeah. That's, the, that's the nursery. Okay, and this is the larger seats and the heavier seats. The one that you touch right down, it's light. Mm -hmm. But just imagine with the nuts inside, how how heavy it would be. Mm -hmm. So it's the world record only like you hold it. It was 22.5 kilograms. It's not the heaviest foot. It's the heaviest seat. Mm -hmm. The heaviest. You know, and the one that makes the long cut came is the male. What are you, what are you it's a male. This is a male palm. Male palm. It's important on this side. It's so small, but clean. You saw? Mm -hmm. So we just arrived at the beach and it is super beautiful. Oh yeah, pristine beach. <laughs> pristine beach. So um, the caveat is if you're not staying here, you, um, you do need to make a reservation ahead of time. But once you get here, there's about a 20 minute walk. So just be prepared to walk through the golf course. So you got up and down and so forth. There's a, a variant terrain to kind of get to it, but it's a, it's a path. So it's not a rough path, but it just takes a little bit of time to do so. Yeah. So here's the beach. <laughs> something like that make sure you have a towel to wipe off with um, maybe yeah. a hat because it's yeah. so hot the Sun is very piercing yeah and wear tiny shoes because if you're not staying at the hotel you got a 20-minute walk down to the beach 
and then there's also an area that you can hike to and get some fabulous views the other thing is they only allow 30 guests to visit this beach every day if you're not staying at, at uh, Constance Lemora. So if you're not staying at this hotel, um, you will need to reserve a spot. We'll leave the link in the description uh, or some information in the description on where to get that information yeah. or how to reserve. Yeah, and one last thing, lots and lots of water. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of water. Um, there's really no food down here. There, there are a couple of fruit stands, so you can get some some fresh fruits, but that's about it. After the beach, we had a nice lunch at Le Duc. So we sat outdoors. It's a very hip and swanky spot. Very cool seating. Very Instagram worthy. The restaurant is directly on Court d'Ivoire Beach. So another beautiful beach here, calm water, just really picture perfect. Le Duc is also good for a sundowner. We had dinner here one night. The wine selection Fire is fish. excellent here as well. Fresh fish, puns over there. We're saying goodbye to Pralin. It's been a really nice trip. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And remember, love yourself, love each other, and gratitude for everything under the sun. Okay, one love. Here's our last uh, view for a villa. So we're gonna be going on this ferry. It's gonna take us from Pralin uh, back to Mahe. But well, first we gotta wait on the folks to to deboard. Thank you.